Hey everybody, I'm Nine First Warning, meteorologist Brandon Spinner. Happy Wednesday to you. We've been dealing with a lot of warmth here across the tri-state the last several days, and we're going to continue that into the afternoon today and Thursday. However, this low pressure system out into Texas, bringing heavy snow out into the Rockies and some blizzard conditions later on tonight into the Great Plains will bring us a threat at severe weather here starting tomorrow. This threat stretches all the way from Lake Erie down into the Gulf Coast, and as you can see, we're painted in orange. That orange is an enhanced risk level three out of five on the risk level. So that does mean that we are enhanced comparative to where we would be on a normal severe weather day. So keep in mind that does mean we have a better threat at stronger storms throughout the day. Damaging winds, tornadoes, hail and flooding all will be possible. My greatest concern is the damaging wind gusts in the morning, then turning towards more of a wind and a tornado threat during the afternoon tomorrow. Clouds build through the overnight tonight. Thunderstorms by 2 or 3 a.m. coming in out of the south. If we start to see a few of these storms move towards the east, we call those right movers. That would bring that potential and strong, possibly severe storms as we head on throughout the early morning hours tomorrow, maybe even a spin up tornado. Heavy rainfall through that morning commute subsiding a bit by 9 or 10 a.m. An isolated shower can't be ruled out through the midday hours. But the better threat for stronger storms develops after one or two o'clock as we build up more energy. And if we see some of these individual cells pop up, that could mean a uh, spin up tornado, large hail, more likely damaging wind gusts out of all of that. Then on the back side, a cold front comes through. It's really going to cool things down into Friday. A lot of rain and a, a real quick amount of rainfall. We're looking at about an inch to two inches in some of those heavier spots. And a lot of that falls on Thursday morning. So watch out for that morning commute as we could have some ponding on the roadways, some accidents and some slowdowns getting out the door. Out of all of this, I think that wind will be the highest concern with tornadoes. The second concern hail, not as much of an issue in my mind when it comes to tomorrow's threat. We'll just be dealing with that better threat at wind and some heavier rainfall today. 71 64 for Thursday. Then that major drop into Friday down to 35. That's the only day below normal and really we're not going to have much more of that as we head on throughout the rest of February. Today's high 71. Put that in perspective. The record is 73, so we'll fall a few degrees shy of that. But it may wind up as one of the 40th or the 40th time we've ever seen a 70 degree temperature in February in Cincinnati. If we do hit 70 degrees today, that is our forecast 71 wind gusting out of the south starting to taper off. We're looking at a high of 64 for Thursday with that threat at severe weather, and that is why it is a nine first warning weather alert day from there. Friday is 35 colder, a little breezy as well. Don't be surprised with wind chills into the 20s. A uh, rebound in temperatures as we head on into the weekend with the 50s returning by Sunday. Monday rain chance as well with next week warmer with a couple chances at a wintry mix.